What's up YouTube? We're going to review another yo-yo. Right here, the brand spanking new Good Life Yo-Yo's Gully. This yo-yo is the first yo-yo from Michael Curtis brand, the Good Life Yo-Yo's. And it's a doozy. This thing is really the new hotness. As the description on Yo-Yo Expert says, they did not give all that much advanced information about this yo-yo. So we're just left to come up with our own assumptions. I like that. First off with looks, bar none, this is the coolest looking yo-yo I have. What you see there in the gap, see the scalloped V design. That's actually done on purpose so that whenever you go to grind, you are actually touching these convex parts on the inside. So you're only barely touching metal, which is great for grinds. This thing grinds like you wouldn't believe, but we're still talking about looks. And the engraving is really cool. Engraving of a gully on the gully. I like it. The colorway, it's just this really dark red with dark yellow and covered in green speckles called mud skipper kind of reminds me of a salamander or uh, other kind of mud dwelling amphibian great animals are great too i like animals i like yo-yos i like the gully um a lot of animals live in gullies the weight rings are rounded they are a little bit bulbous that's a fun word the, the weight rings are a little bit more bulbous than you would think. They're right in the middle of the rims there, a little bit into the cup. And these bulbous rims are not flat like most rims. They are, in fact, bulbous. All right, I'm done with that joke. That was too much. Another neat thing, these, uh, these axle nubbins right there in the center of the cups, oh, they're pointy, but they're not sharp. They are probably pointy enough to do matador style tricks. I haven't tried any of those yet. Golly. Golly, this gully is a good yo-yo. It feels alright in the hand. It doesn't feel perfect. Not overly natural, but it works. It's that's not a not too big a drawback. There's no thumb grind lip, and I just started doing thumb grinds, so that's a bit of a downer. But still, not every yo-yo has to have a thumb grind lip. And the pros by far outweigh the cons with, with the gully. And these rings there, they do give it added stability, added spin time, added power. But they do not make the yo-yo feel more rigid in play. This is a nimble, agile yo-yo, but it's still stable whenever it needs to be. The biggest downside is that it's pretty sharp on the catch. If you have uh, delicate baby hands, and if you get a surprise bind or just overly powerful throw and you bind a little quickly, this guy will bite you. you got to be careful. It'll sting a little bit whenever it comes back, as long as it's not already lined up with your index finger just to, to catch it in the groove. Any kind of twists or turns, angles on this thing, and it'll sting you. you got to watch out for that. That's really the biggest downside. And that's really not that bad because that only happens maybe 10% of the time. And that's just because my throws are wonky. When it comes to this yo-yo, the operative word here is effortless. This yo-yo practically does the tricks for you. You don't really have to worry about missing the string or any other kind of it's spinning out. Things like that just don't really happen as often on this yo-yo. That's... That's the quality there. That's how good a yo-yo this is. This is the most laid-back yo-yo I have. It's just easygoing, carefree. Well, you don't really have to negotiate with it when you throw. It, it's like you say, how about you go over there? And the yo-yo's like, already here, right there. Blah, blah, blah. That didn't work at all. Anyway, it's a great yo-yo. I love this yo-yo. It's easygoing, carefree, laid-back. That too. This is my most expensive yo-yo. This was $130. Luckily, I got it as a birthday present. $130 is a lot for a yo-yo. This is this is up there with the uh, like the CLYW bimetals, the the uh, the high-end bimetal quality. I've never thrown anything more expensive than this. Can't imagine it getting much better. This is just 
where it's at as far as quality goes. Quality, attention to detail. It has all the amenities. It even comes with a continental breakfast. So my only real problem here is I haven't come up with a name yet. Well, we had this a little over a week and I just haven't had a chance to uh, name it. It hasn't spoken to me yet. I was maybe thinking Muddy Mudskipper after uh, Ren and Stimpy's favorite television character. I'm not sure. Muddy Mudskipper is kind of on the nose. Let me know what you folks think. Right? If you have any name suggestions for what I should call this mud, this, uh, this mud skipper, this mud skipper gully, then uh, let me know in the comments. I'll give you a shout out if uh, if I liked your submission. Why not? That's about all I can do at this point. Well, this is a yo-yo that really feels like you're playing whenever you're practicing tricks with this. It's just really cool. It's like come fly with me, come fly, let's fly away. You know that feeling. So before I go throw this bad boy around, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. See that? I rhymed. <laughs> Any hoozle. If uh, you want to see more content from me, please subscribe. I love it when you do that. And until you see me again, may your tension remain neutral.